Okay, we're back here at BST Podcast, El Paso County Raceway at the Mike Hathaway Trade Show. And we're here with Matt Bowen, once again, another ASCS sprint car racer. Yes, How sir. How you doing, sir? Good, good. Thank How you about for yourself? coming. Thank, Thank you for you. coming. Uh, tell us a little about yourself, some of uh, where you've raced, because you're new to Colorado, from yes. what I know, correct? Yes, yes, I am. All right. Uh, Otherwise, you snuck by the radar of mine that, you know, I've been out here all my <laughs> life. And uh, so where where'd you come from? Well, I've lived in Colorado for about five years now. Um, I've, I was military, so I've kind of moved nice. around quite a bit. Um, Are you still current military then? No, no, okay. veteran. Nice. Uh, my racing experience, though, is, is thank actually... Thank you for your service, by thank, the way. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. Um, my racing experience is, is fairly limited, though, believe it or not. Um, the only thing that I've ever been in race car-wise is a sprint car. Nice. So... Um, I was living in the Chicagoland area for the vast majority of my racing experience, racing in a, at a track in Wisconsin, mm -hmm. uh, some 410 wing stuff. Um, it's extremely competitive out that way. You start getting into the wing cars. and they got and some big tracks out there too, don't they? Big tracks, yeah. fast tracks, yeah. tacky tracks. Yeah, hammer down. <laughs> yep, yep. So it was, it, it was it, rough it trying nice. to. A lot of people always talk about our track conditions, which are challenging. But uh, people don't realize, you know, we had the World of Outlaws out here a few years ago, and, mm -hmm. you know, they've been to every racetrack in the country, of course, and they said, the first thing they said, well, you're in the middle of a wind farm. Yep. You have the <laughs> highest altitude that they know of, which is yep. damn near 7,000 foot out here. Yep. There is no humidity. None. We're, we're kicking ass to breathe. <laughs> so all the elements that make it tough for a racetrack, it's we challenging. Have, we have here. Very challenging. And that's what people don't realize. But mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's tough. So you, you see these tracks, you know, and they have the pictures of all that uh, Mississippi River bottom clay, you know, <laughs> right. with humidity, right. sea level. I'm yep. like, wow, wouldn't that be nice? And that's what I was used <laughs> to racing on. Yeah. And I, I still had a hard time doing that. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, and, and not that you, not that we can't have hammer down tracks. Of course we no, do. We it do. just takes a it takes a lot more to get it there. But yep. those guys, it, the the one thing I like about here racing in Colorado, if you will, or in this geographical area, we have the variety from yep. the, the dry tracks to the rough tracks to the hammer down tracks to mm -hmm. the smooth tracks. When you get out there to the some of those midwestern tracks, they seem to be the same. They are uh, more on, on a weekly basis than yep. per se what we have. And they are very one of the, much. One of the big reasons I like dirt racing is the variety. So yep. I, I dig that variety, whatever it may be, good, bad, and different. So absolutely, you're liking that too. I do. Good. Yes, yes, so, I do. I like the challenge. So you you say you basically have only been in sprint cars. That's interesting yep. because everybody thinks well, sprint cars are you know the top of the top, top of the echelon, and that's what you build yourself up to. There's people that start out in 600s or mm -hmm. whatever it might be going into. Mm -hmm. Uh, lightning sprints, midgets, and then into sprint cars. But I've seen a few people that uh, have done that and do rather well. And that just tells you it doesn't really matter what division you get into. You know, just get in one no. and do it and have fun. Don't drive above yourself. Yep. That's the only thing. You know, you yep. come into these cars, the community that we have, and especially the racers around here are very welcoming, very open. And you let them know what your experience level is, and they will drive accordingly with you. The the racing family doesn't matter what division it is uh, is a racing family. Absolutely, and that's one thing I've always admired about it. Uh, been doing this 35 plus years, and have family that started 35 years ago that are still in the family. Yep. And then there'll be new people in the family that you just meet or whatever. Absolutely. And, and it, they seem like everybody's in for the long haul. Yep. And uh, the family just gets bigger. But yeah, the the racing family is pretty unique. Uh, been in a lot of sports, a lot of different things, and I mean, there's there's family in a lot of things, but I, I think the racing, for whatever reason, seems to be more family oriented. It is very and, much, and then even bringing the family, I, I think that has a lot to do mm -hmm. with it. We all bring our kids, wives, you know, grandmas, sisters, aunts, uncles, right. you know, as our fan club per se, yep. or our, our crews. Yeah, you they know, can they can participate. Yep. In so, my case, you know, my son is my pit crew. There you go. You know, yeah. he participates, and if we do well, he does well. Exactly. Exactly. So, right on. Well, I want to thank you for coming by. How about your car? Is it ready? It's ready. All right. I can, so you're I can be run out it here, tomorrow. You're going to be out here hot lapping on the fourth then? Yes, sir. And then out here for the first race. And you plan on running the whole series, the whole yes, tour? Yes, sir. Yep. All 12, sure whatever it is. Um, speaking of the tracks, when you haven't been to Holyoke yet, that's one of our favorites. Uh, matter of fact, 
Colorado is actually <laughs> my favorite track, and it has to do with the speeds and the size. So sure, that'll that'll be more of a homecoming for you, if Absolutely. you will. Absolutely, I'm excited. So I'm excited you'll, to you'll experience have fun it. There. For All sure. Right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Joe. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Absolutely. Get it ready.